Hi, I'm Yovrik, and I am literally swimming in shit this time. This is, in fact, the Nosferatu's place. The, uh, the save screen had, uh, made it pretty obvious, actually. Although, I do think it's hilarious that this is here. We are so deep underground, it's not like this is gonna dock with anything. Discipline's not allowed. Oh, come on. It's just ass bugs. I suppose that means weapons are not allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have no idea what that is. Should I touch it? I should probably not touch it. What is it, lava? Acid? Something that makes vampires melt. I don't want to touch it. You touch it. Never be the first to stick your hand into a viscous material. Oh. Why would you have this on a rickety ass bridge? You know, the other bridge looked way better. I'm gonna take the high road. If there's one thing I learned from General Kenobi, take the high ground. Take the high ground, Yorick. Yeah, I'll go around. You know, I know they have to live in the sewers because they're Nosferatu and they're ugly as hell. And it makes it really obvious they're not normal. But they've been down here for a couple hundred years. Couldn't they have, I don't know, spiffied up the place? Oh, cool, TD. What's it do? The label on the CD says, be tongue. Oh shit. Bertram tongues. I'll have to see him. You know, after I, if I ever find myself back in Santa Monica, I'll be like, hey, Bertram, man, I found your album. You're not a bad rapper, bro. I mean, do I really want to cross this fucking thing? What's the point of this bridge? What's the point of that bridge down there? Uh, that one actually goes somewhere though. So I guess I'll just hop down. Oh. Maybe that wasn't the brightest of ideas. Well, how deadly is this stuff? That didn't hurt. It hurt about as much as that. So it's not lava. It's probably acid. And after congealing shit and piss for a couple hundred years in the dankest of the dank, I can only imagine what kind of acid that must be. Ammonia, feces, ugh. Why? Oh, not opening that door. Hmm? Oh, cool. Hey, what's up? What the? <laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you backed off that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Gridmaster. What? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. 
Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> Might I speak with you, console jockey? Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? You know, this guy is actually highlighting a very important life lesson. Don't open spam emails. Don't open emails. Almost, period. Perhaps another time for this tango. Huh? Tango? <laughs> you came to the wrong place for dance lessons. Uh, yeah, I forgot you're Malkavian, right? You got more than a few bugs in the software, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but uh, that's a tech problem I can't fix. Who are you, Joe Boy? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? The crazy boy. Surprised you actually made it down here. Why surprised, binary boy? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> yeah, uh, about that. That one room, uh, I wasn't running in panic. I, it was a strategical retreat. Anyways, could you not extend that withered hand? Nothing I could do from here. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. Dude, purrs like a... Khajiit. I need to nose around in your noggin. Go ahead. Tell me of this underworld. What, the wards? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. Hmm. Tell me where to find this. Cop. Collegiate Colossus? I'm probably saying that word wrong. Yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. I came to trade words, not war. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> I will seek the Chateau King. Farewell. What's the point of that? Or the beds for that matter. Do vampires even need sleep? Like, we sleep in the surface world to avoid the sunlight and it makes for an easy pass throughout the day. Personally, I think it's not really sleep, but probably more like a trance? Like a meditative trance? Oh. Hey, what up, lady? Bitch, I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. Shall I leave you to lament? I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Who is this cheese queen? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making Oof. ten bucks a stiff if I was still around. <sighs> Often I enjoy a fluffing with my Vivisections. What? Oh no, you've got to be kidding! You're a Malkavian? Gary actually lets you guys in here? My day just went from bad to coach class. I 
I bow to your greatness, Cleopatra. Cleopatra? Hey, that's my password on my... How did you... Whatever. I'm not even gonna ask. The name is Amalia, so I'd appreciate it if you'd use it. Why the terrible hatred for Tawny, great Cleopatra. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. Oh, I mean, yeah. I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. She was. why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. Tell me of this illicit invitation. Nosferatu do have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. And then? Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You Let us trade some more words about Tawny. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. You know, I'm looking at the stomach on the uh, poster behind her head. What fat? Anyways. What is stopping this tabloidian ten tenacity? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. Perhaps I might extend a helping hand. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. What more? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into our computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, <laughs> you'll be able to activate the camera. Hmm. And my reward for this wretched little recon. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen. I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? Oh, hopefully I'll do better on this one than I did for the one with Vivi. I don't know exactly what I did in terms of sounds, but she didn't like it. Maybe it had to do with beating the crap out of that guy, but he was bugged. What could I do? This deed I will do. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. My time on your gray matter. Sure, whatever. I mean, I do know Gary was a part of it, but maybe she'll get more details. Nosferatu do have a sixth sense of humor. Yeah, skip. My mind has left, my body follows. Cleopatra, huh? Oh, well, her camera isn't working right now. I mean, it is. And how do they get electricity down here? And more importantly, why didn't the Zimitsi ever think to just cut the electricity? Like, oh my god. Nosferatu relies so much on their computers. Ooh, blue blood. Anything else? This is a pretty big area. Oh, I guess not. Take Gary's <laughs> up here, huh? Oh, it's neat. <laughs> ah. 
hit the mute button on the mic before that. You can thank me later. And behind the big double doors. Oh, what an interesting conversation you all must be having. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Come on out, voice. I won't buy it. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. You don't sound anything like the voice in my head. Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. You amuse me, new voice. Old voice didn't make much sense. Tell me, the voice in your head, why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. If you are in my head, you already know. You tell me. Think carefully. Who are you here for? And why? <laughs> you are him. Good joke. Come out. Let's play. You lost, boss. As always. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. I've got a nine. I've got a nines, a jack, and a prince. But you are about to deal me a queen. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? Where are you? I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did no. you stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? You want something? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. I'm here for that old box. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. At least he's got good taste in music. Why? Now, uh, tell me the tale of the box. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. So you have a copy of the receipt. I like to discuss business face to face. I enjoy hideous once in a while. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Nightmares are all I've got. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> You know, it's a shame this is Elysium. I could just aspect this guy and spot him out of a lineup. I want it. Behind you, boss. Boo! Hi. And you are? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Didn't Not I see your him? time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. I'm reasonably sure I looked him up in the computer in the Internet Cafe. Chuck.
disarmed the box. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. <laughs> Why might I ask? <gasps> should I give you that information? Well, I did just clear out your sewers for you. I went through the tunnels, killing things and collecting stuff for you. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? What about the box? I'm not one to waste words like Little Lord Flaunt Lacroix up there. There's a connection. Want to hear it? Listen. I think I hear someone saying something about it. Oh, wait. That's my voice. Yes, voice. I hear you. The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the Vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. The voices claim I slayed one at the Lady by the Sea. So... Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. You know, cell phones in this city... You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. <sighs> Another elder playing his games. For more than what I need. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. I know Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from his prize. Close your mouth, chew on the resentment, and open your ears. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. Damn. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kuei Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Now why doesn't your voice sound there? Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. I get the feeling that's a reference to a movie, but I just don't know what it is. Sounds dangerous. Got anything I can use to protect myself? Die. Let's see what I got. Ooh, he gave me something. I don't know what it is, but he gave me something. Thanks. You can never have enough blue blood. I guess that's what I got. Anything else? Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Is our blood not feuding? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. I will go to China. But do not cross me, voice. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> 
There is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. I get the feeling you're going to be down here. Become one with the dark again, boys. Where is the salt for my rat? I don't want to be a part of this party. Anyways. Gave me a pack of blue blood, huh? I'll take it. Come on, don't get stuck on the steps. We'll just skip up them. La di da di da. Oh, running a bit over. Well, let's get out of here first, and then we can call it a day. Where is it? You've got to be kidding me. Nice. Well, that settles that. Oh, the voices are getting awfully chatty. So, we're going to Chinatown, apparently. The prince wants that sarcophagus now. Yeah, I know, he's been clamoring about that for a while. Banking on 10 points. What am I about to buy? Probably a discipline. Or the last rank of wits. Or a point of perception. Or a point of charisma, who knows. But that's for another day. That's for another time. Until then, farewell, vampire.